In this post, we're going to take a look at Gamecraft Miniatures. I know of Gamecraft Miniatures because of their terrain, but they sell so much more than that. We're going to look back at the first time I ever saw their products, and we're going to take a look at a shipment that they sent me for review, and we're going to take a deep dive into their website to see what they have. My name is Jay, and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. Now let's get into it. The first time that I remember coming across a product by Gamecraft Miniatures, it was back in 2016 at a local convention. There I took this picture of a gaming table. The owner of Gamecraft Miniatures reached out to me about the photo and I pointed him in the direction of the convention and who ran the game at the table. For those wondering, that IKEA building is a 15mm scale building. It is available in 15mm, 20mm and 1 285th scales from Gamecraft Miniatures. Four years later, I start up a YouTube channel. The first company to reach out to me to ask for coverage on this channel was Gamecraft Miniatures. Now, I've already covered many brands in the past through my Must Contain Minis website. There's a link in the description below. When Gamecraft Miniatures reached out to me, I was very pleased to agree to look at their products. This picture is the shipment that they sent me. We will take a closer look at that, but first we're going to take a quick look at their website. So the people at Gamecraft Miniatures told me to take a look at their website and let them know what I'd like to review. And you can see right now they're from Tennessee. So they're out of Knoxville, out of the United States. And there's quite a lot available here. So I know them for terrain, so immediately I see they have 3mm to 10mm stuff, they have 15mm stuff, 20mm, and 28mm. Being that we just took a look at the IKEA building that they built, let's see how well the search feature works. We'll go to search, and we'll just type in IKEA and see, see if that building shows up. Okay. So there's that building that we saw earlier in the three different scales. So that's the building that was on that gaming table and it looked really good. It was pretty much the showcase piece on that table if you ask me. It, it was really nice looking. But I don't play that scale of game. I don't play 15mm anymore. Or not recently, it's not really in my collection so much anymore. I stick more to 28. So let's take a look at what they have available. There are a lot of different different terrain sets available here so we'll immediately take a look at the European set and see what they have. So lots of options here that looks really cool with the ladders that they have. You have the country house, the two-door house, lots, lots of different options and, and when you get into houses like this I like them personally a lot because I think they work for World War II or for fantasy. So you'll see these equally as much on my Frostgrave tables as you will see them on my bolt action tables. So there's quite a few options. That's, that's a cool looking building there, the uh, half timber house. And some buildings as well. That, that large country estate looks really cool as well. Let's, let's click on one and see what you get. Okay, so $16 American for that, 28 millimeter European building. They give you lots of pictures of what the building looks like. It's a decent looking building. And you come down here and he has an instruction video showing you tips for building these type of buildings. He's doing it in the 15 millimeter scale maybe here. Finish building finishing tips for Gamecraft 15 millimeter European buildings, but the same principles will apply to the 28 millimeter as well. So that's a nice touch that he has the video instructions there, description of the product, and some really nice pictures of what he's selling right here. Okay, going back, we're going to take a look at some of the other things that they have. Let's take a look at let's take a look at all the MDF kits. There's quite a lot available here. 
just take a look through some a couple of pages and then we'll move on to something else. We've already seen some of these on the European Buildings page. Well, that's a cool bridge. 20 millimeter drawbridge. Let's take a closer look at that. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Looks like the infantry fit perfectly along the sidewalk and you can get one tank width and down the bridge. That's a pretty neat little product. This building looks really cool to me. You can play Black Hawk Down on your tabletop with it. On top of the train, I also knew that they built paint racks, so I wanted to take a quick look at that as well when I was here. So they have paint desks, paint racks, some nice looking stuff. Now one of the things that I asked for was this LED workbench double light, or double wide extra tall light. I did not think I would like that as much as I did. And this one has been selling very well. You can see it's out of stock now, but if this is something that you're interested in, come back and take a look and they build more and it'll go back into stock. But they have a little power adapter here that attaches to the lamp. And that, that lamp illuminates your work area very nicely. So this is their desk. I'll show you a, a look of it on my desk and also on my kitchen table. that workbench light on my temporary desk. It works really well. As you can see from the package that they sent me, the lamp actually comes mostly pre-assembled. All I had to do was attach the feet to it and then it was ready to go. This lamp works well on its own or when accompanied by another lamp. Now one thing I will say as a criticism is that there is no on and off switch on this lamp. So if you want to turn it on and off, you're going to have to plug and unplug it or plug it into a power bar and turn that off. Aside from the lamp, I also asked for a 28 millimeter guard tower and terrain that could be used for either a fantasy game like Frostgrave or for bolt action. Destroyed two-door houses fit the bill for both fantasy and for World War II, so he sent me a couple of those buildings as well. Now let's head back to his website for a little bit to look further around. So now we're back on the Gamecraft Miniatures website. This time we're taking a look at the 28mm guard tower that I asked for. So he's got a couple of pictures here of what the product looks like once it's built. I will say that this base here, I did not get with the product, so I don't think it comes with a base, and that's totally fine. He's got a couple of figures up here for scale purposes. And overall, it looks like it's going to be a nice looking tower on the tabletop. Now that we've looked at the terrain, let's take a look at what else he has available on the site. Well, let's take a look at 28mm figures. Okay, so he's got a whole bunch of different companies from North Star and Warlord, Bad Squido, Offensive Miniatures, lots of different options for you to buy. And I think I saw that he has games here as well. So let's see. Holy moly, that is a lot of games. So I did not expect to see this many games when I clicked on that. I can see right away he has a couple by Firelock Games. He's got Blood and Plunder and he's got oak and iron. 
he does have a piece of Warlord Games product mixed in, but you could use that as battlefield terrain. I'll, I'll agree with that, that's totally fine. He's got some cigar box battle mats. Those things are excellent. I'm a big fan of cigar box battle mats. And he has a bunch of blood and plunder. So you can buy your blood and plunder from him if you want. Yep, so they do have that available. And what else does he have available for games? He has tons of stuff on here as well. He's got the Fallout starter set in there. Test of Honor. Okay, this was a Warlord Games product that went back to the original designer. I believe they're called Grey for now. And you can see that they actually have the, the new product, so that, that probably means that they have the second edition as well. Let's take a look at what they, what they have here. So they do have some of the figures made by Warlord Games. They've mixed in some miniatures by Bad Squido Games. Okay, yeah, they have the starter set for the second edition and they have plenty of miniatures so you can pick up Test of Honor from this guy as well. And we're head back to the games and take a look at what else is there. Okay, he's got Star Wars Legion. Lots, lots and lots of options. Okay, we're going to take a look at Bolt Action. Okay, he has some products intermixed by other, other companies, which is totally fine. All of these can be used within your Bolt Action games. Okay, so let's just kind of skip ahead and see what all he has. Okay, there's a few different manufacturers, but it looks like the bulk of them are by Warlord Games. Okay, let's let's take a quick count of how many items there are per page, so one, two, three wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus one, so three times seven, 21, minus one, so you got 20 products per page. You have 14 pages of bolt action related products. Plus, there's a fifth page. So we're, we're at 280, plus let's see what's on the fifth, or that, sorry, the final page here, the 14th page, or 15th page, sorry, 15th page. He has four more. So we're at 200, 284 bolt action products. This guy must have hundreds of thousands of dollars tied up into inventory. That is a lot of product. So if you're looking for bolt action products or some of the other games and want to see what he has, come check out Gamecraft Miniatures and see what all they have. This that, that's impressive. There's a lot of stuff here. I, I generally play Brits, so let's see what they have on Brits. I think I have some Bad Squido stuff mixed in. That's totally cool. That's, that's impressive. I did not expect to see that much tied up into the game because when I go to Gamecraft Miniatures or when I think of Gamecraft Miniatures in the past, I think of terrain and I think of painting accessories. I don't think of him as a seller of games. I, I never thought that he would have 284 bolt action related products on his website and that's not even looking at his terrain. When, when I went through all that earlier, I didn't see his train kits in there. That's bolt action related products like soldiers, tanks, books, that sort of thing. Now let's take a look at battle mats. So I see that they have a whole bunch of cigar box battle mats. I really love cigar box battle mats. I can't recommend them enough. They're fantastic. 
And he also has a few that I don't quite recognize that are maybe by another company. These ones don't have the cigar box battle mats branding on them. But there are some nice mats there. And then there's of course the cigar box battle mats there as well. Okay, it looks like he even has a landing strip. Let's take a quick look at that. So this landing strip is for six millimeter gaming, but could easily work for 10 to 15 mil. So if you have flames at war and you want a gaming mat where you're fighting over an airport, this this would be nice. Maybe, maybe you're doing the World War III game in 15 millimeter. How cool is that? That is, oh, he even has the, the sizes there, so you know how big this mat is and how big the runway is. So you can see before you buy if that fits your aesthetic or not. Very nice. We're going to head back home for a little bit. If you want to come here and take a look on your own, there will be links in the description below. Wow, I, I can't get over how much product he has. I, I really didn't think they had that much games. I, wow, like you got so many different, different options here. Oak and Iron too. So, yeah, they have a lot of Firelock games products. They have, I think I even saw Frostgrave in there. Let's take a look at that quickly. Okay, so they, we have some Oathmark stuff. They're, they're nice kits. They work well together. I have some written articles about them over on Must Contain Minis. And also I have a video of the Frostgrave Knights right now for review. And I'm, I have another video planned from this line coming up soon. Yeah, there's some nice kits here. Now let's head back to my pictures and we'll, we'll take a look at the tower mostly built and then we'll wrap up this video. People ask me all the time if the LED lamp by Gamecraft Miniatures is any good for photography. It is. So in this picture, that lamp is the only lamp on. It has daylight temperature lights inside of it and it's a fairly soft light I find. Under the light, we have my guard tower almost complete. All that's left to do is to toss on the ladder and to toss on the roof. Overall, I'm really liking the look of this product, and I'm looking forward to looking at the other products by Gamecraft Miniatures. So far, I just have positive stuff to say. Thank you for joining me in this company showcase of Gamecraft Miniatures. If you haven't given them a look before, head on over and give them a visit. There are links related to this video in the description below. Until next time, happy gaming everyone!